And also, guys, on my gaming, on my on the arcade, I will be going to um, do a COD stream every day this month at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So anyway, let's go on with this. We're going to be looking at some abandoned places that you can visit. So let's check them out. Alright. So let's look at the Orpheum Theater. The Orpheum Theater opened in 1912 with soaring ceilings built in the Black Arts architectural style. The massive space included a club, theater, a ballroom, a shooting range, a gymnasium. Why do they say a gymnasium? This is not this is not 2005. You have to stay a gym and retail space. According to the, after the final curtain, the theater was home to opera, theatrical, and I can't read that word performances. It closed for the first time in 1958 and was sold to various buyers over the years. Today it remains abandoned and empty. Gross Singers Catskills Resort. One of the most famous of the once glamorous resorts in the Catskills is Gross Singers. Thought to be the inspiration for the movie, Dirty Dancing. Found in the 1910s, a grass singer quickly grew in popularity to become a haven for wealthy summer vacations throughout the 1960s and 1970s. But after financial difficulties, the hotel was sold in 1985. And after failing to stay afloat, shuttered permanently in 1986, a year before Dirty Dancing was released. The current owner of the crumbling resort hopes to restore it someday soon. Hudson River State H Hospital. The Hudson River State Hospital was once an impressively sprawling psychiatric hospital designed by the architects who created Central Park, also in Bakersfield. The hospital remained in operation from 1871 until 2003, when it finally shut down after falling to, into disrepair. At the time, the hospital was considered very progressive and offered a number of modern treatments for the mentally ill, like electroshock therapy and lobotomies. Although it's now a historic landmark as designed by the Titanic, the entire complex is abandoned. Here's what it kind of looks like now. Ohio State Reformatory, or otherwise known as a prison. The Ohio State Reformatory operated as a prison for juveniles for nearly a century until it closed in 1990 for brutality brutalizing and inhumane conditions. The prison was the same for multiple violent incidents, including the kidnapping and murder of, jail employee, of a jail employee's wife in 1948. Just two years later, the one's wife accidentally died after a gun fell on the floor. Legend has it, an inmate killed his cellmate around that time and stuffed him in his mattress. These days, you can take a tour of the prison's remains, considered one of the most haunted places in America. Here's what it looks like now. See how it looks pretty abandoned and the jail cells are rusty? That's how you know it's abandoned. And plus, these days, they don't have jail cells anymore. If you guys went to Laredo, I went to visit a family member in Laredo. I, they didn't have jail cells like this, because this isn't, this time isn't like 1980. It says, this isn't 1978, where you have jail cells, and where the jail cells are bars. North Brother Island. North Brother Island is one of the spookiest places just off the coast of Manhattan, just hidden in plain sight. Now abandoned, the 22-acre island was initially in habitat in 1985 for the purpose of building a hospital for patients with contagious diseases like typhoid fever, tuberculosis, yellow fever, and smallpox. The Riverside Theater was home to, I can't read that name, Patient Zero, Typhoid Mary, after she allegedly affected at least 25 people from 1910 to 1915 and was quarantined for the rest of her life. After World War II, the hospital was reopened as a rehabilitation center for drug addicts. In 1963, the island shut its doors to human habitats and visitors for good. Murphy Ranch Nazi Camp. 
Rusty Canyon's Murphy Ranch outside of Los Angeles, California it may just look like a couple of crippling graffiti covered buildings now, but the compound was once a Nazi sympathizer camp. During the 1930s, the property was developed by Win Winoni and Norman Stevens, who were allegedly convinced by German nation Harry Schmidt that America would lose World War II. Schmidt had dreams of creating a self-sustainable camp that would be able to help the pro-Nazi effort, and he convinced the same developers coming to foster his vision. In 1941, the federal agents raided the camp, and it was abandoned. The site experienced a brief revival in the 1960s as an artist camp, now just a landmark for curious hikers and tourists in the area. This is what it looks like now. Ooh, let's look at New Orleans, Louisiana. In Six Flags Theme Park. Six Flags New Orleans, also known as the Jazzland before it was purchased by the theme park chain, was in the middle of creating a new water park for the recently opened theme park in 2005 when Hurricane Katrina hit. The area was devastated and is still picking up pieces more than a decade later, and the theme park remained desolate and in ruins. Urban explorers can see the remains of Southern and la la. In 2009, the city terminated Six Flags lease and announced that, the, that it would be turned into a shopping complex, but nothing has planned, happened so far. So, remains of it now. Oh, let's look at the Elk Mount Historic District. Elk Mount Historic District, deep in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, used in the upscale campground for wealthy vacationers in the first half of the, in the, first half of the 20th century. Built by the Little River Lumber Company in 1908, it was the summer haven during the height of timber visits to Tennessee, but was abandoned decades ago. Since then, the 20 or so buildings have become a spooky tourist attraction for hikers and campers in the area. Many of the structures were scheduled to, for demolition last year, but at least a dozen were saved by the National Park Service. The build, here's a building. As you can see, it looks pretty abandoned. The walls are and the windows are broken and the roof is like crumbling down. I wouldn't recommend going to this place. I mean, you could, but I wouldn't since it looks pretty abandoned and it's falling apart. We'll skip this building and we'll. S All right, let's try this one. Letchworth Village. This one and thirty building. Mm, a two thousand acre complex used to be a mental institution from nineteen eleven to nineteen ninety six. Like most mental institutions, it was closed after conventional experiments on mental patients were condemned. The village, at the height of tree remained in the 1960s, employed more than 10,000 locals who oversaw the patients and the expansive grounds. Led to where the village reputation began its downward spiral in 1917 when journalist Geraldo Rivera published an expose of the cruel police practices at Letchworth. Today, the building is abandoned and considered one of the most haunted places in America. City Hall Subway Station. The abandoned City Hall Subway Station was actually the first station in New York City subway system. Known for its ornamental tiles and skylights, the station opened in 1904 and was closed in 1945 from disuse. Today, if you want to get a glimpse of New the New York's first subway stop, you will have to stand on the six line past the final stop at Brooklyn Bridge City Hall. If you plan to stay out of sight of conductors, You'll be able, if you stay outside of the conductors, you'll be able to see the city hall stop the subway loops around the building getting on the sixth line. Here's what it looks like now. There's a little train, I think, coming by, but the lights are still on, but I wouldn't go through here. They could be haunted. All right, next, let's look for another one. Santa Claus, Arizona. One of the many famed ghost towns about Along Route 66, the Christmas-themed town of Santa Claus, Arizona, is now nearly abandoned. When Santa Claus was founded in 1937, it was meant to be a year-round tourist destination for the middle of, in the middle of the desert. Attractions like the Santa Claus Inn, where kids could stay on Santa's lap, even if it wasn't December, remained popular with road trippers through the 1960s. But by the 1970s, 
The romanticism of Route 66 had died down and many of the roadside tracks along the famed highway closed. Today you can see the remains of Santa Claus, Arizona behind a barbed wire fence. <sighs> Let's look at some more. Let me find more. Sultan Bavaria. Bombway Beach, nicknamed the Sultan Bavaria, was a short lived chick beach resort community known as the Miracle in the Desert. An overflow from the Colorado River flooded the Sultan Sink Valley in the mid 20th century and created the Sultan Sea in the middle of the California desert. In the 1950s and 1960s, Bombway Beach was an upscale resort destination for the beach goes, with yacht clubs, fancy hotels, and boat boardwalks. However, the salting body of water became an ecological disaster. There was no rainfall or drain system in the Sultan River, so the water slowly became more and more polluted, and at one time the was saltier than the Pacific Ocean. Fish began to die. Beach was left closed, and visitors stopped coming. By 1980, the area had been practically been abandoned. These days, you can pick your way through the smelly, the smelly ruins of the Salton Riviera. All right. Home of Utah, Home of Truth, Utah. The Home of Truth was the site of cult-like religious settlement founded in 1933 by Mary Ogden, a woman who believed she could communicate with the dead. For several years, Mary and her almost 100 followers practiced their, rel their religion in the middle of the desert. After Mary died in 1975, the community became private community, private property. You could still see a sign from, you could still see the sign from Mary's place, the entrance of her inner portal where members could supposedly be saved during the second comings of Jesus Christ. Alright. Let me look for the last one. Right, this will be the one of the last last two. Disney's all right, River County, Walt Disney World. Disney's wilderness-themed water park opened from 1976 until 2001 when and is actually one of the multiple abandoned theme parks on the Walt Disney World, Walt Disney World property. River County first closed at the end of the warm winter season in 2001, and in 2005, Disney announced that it would never reopen again. No explicit reason was ever given for its closing, but fans speculate that it was closed for safety concerns after several accidents in the park. River County was recently the subject of photographer Sept Seth. Lawless, cripply, unsettling photo says Dismaland. The photos show vines and moss slowing, taking over the water slides and forming attractions of the abandoned water park. This is what it looks like now. Did we look at this? Yeah, I think we, I think, let's go down to the very last one. All right, last one. Dog Patch USA theme park. Dog Patch USA was a theme park based on the comic strip Lil Abner that operated from 1968 until 1980 when Al Cap, the creator of Al Ban Abner, passed away. The park was then transformed into a thrill park, but that did not last, and the grounds closed for good in 1993. Dog Patch USA is a favorite visit for urban explorers. And as many of the park and attractions still remain heavily intact, the park was later purchased by a developer who had dreams of refurbishing the park. In December, Con conservative entertainment company Heritage USA expressed interest in buying the land and building resort, but nothing has been finalized. <sighs> but anyways, that's all for tape you guys just feel. What do you guys think? Are you guys going to explore these places? If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like mine in the face and subscribe to my wall pack. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.